Hi and welcome to Web TV. Now, phone data plans. Do you know how much you're getting and do you know how long your data lasts? Well, here's John with his own investigation into mobile phone data plans. Increasingly these days, when we renew our mobile phone contracts, we're not only asked how many minutes and texts we need, we're also asked how much data we want. Do we want unlimited? Do we want 500 megabytes a month, 750 megabytes a month, or whatever? Because the fact is, modern smartphones use data for so many things, whether it be checking and receiving and sending emails, browsing the web, watching video, downloading music. It all involves data. The thing is, how much do you really use? Well, if all you're doing is basic emailing, not very much, because a text-based email is only about 10 kilobytes, and you can send 50,000 of those on even a 500 megabyte monthly data allowance. But once you start doing other sorts of things, the data usage mounts up. Downloading the home page of the Gadget Show website here, for example, has used over two megabytes of data. So if I look at 10 pages like that a day, I'd soon be over a 500 megabyte monthly data allowance. And it gets worse if you start downloading music or watching video. I've just watched just one minute of TV catch up on this iPhone. I zeroed the data counter first, and that's used over four megabytes. So just two hours of TV watching at that rate. I could have used up a 500 megabyte monthly allowance. Now, there are ways around that. You can uh, use the mobile versions of people's websites wherever possible, which consume a lot less data. You could use a browser like Opera Mini or Opera Mobile, which uses servers to compress websites before they're sent to you. So you can look at a lot more within your allowance. Or, of course, you could obviously use Wi-Fi wherever possible. However, in spite of all this potential massive use of data, I don't think many of us actually go over our data allowance. I asked around the Gadget Show office, and not one person did, even though everybody had a limitation of some sort on their data contract. So it's worth bearing that in mind if you are tempted to shell out on some big data deal. I think it pays first to look at what your actual data usage is, either with your phone's built-in data counter or if it hasn't got one, download an app that will do it for you. But if you really are a heavy data user, don't despair because there are still options with all-you-can-eat data deals where you get unlimited data across all things, whether it be web browsing and emails right through to music and video downloads. That seems like a good deal to me.